Imagine, if you will, that an encounter with your partner at an ice cream shop could lead you to question the very fabric of reality. Sound unlikely? Well, that's exactly what happens to Greg, the protagonist of Lost Echo. A casual meeting and a flash of white light later, and suddenly he's the only person who can remember his girlfriend. Of course, that's only the start of the mystery. We won't discuss the plot any further, as it's one of the main things the game has going for it. Its ideas are intriguing, and the futuristic world setting is a marvel to behold. But even for an adventure game, Lost Echo is painfully slow-paced. Dialogue scenes seem to go on forever without imparting that much entertaining or useful information. This is exacerbated by the slow speed at which you trundle around the environment. You can double tap to run, but it's not as reliable as you would like. It's also a fairly streamlined game, at least in casual mode. This option allows you to press two fingers onto the screen to uncover hotspots, which is useful if you don't want to spend the game hunting for interactive pixels. It can often be easy to get lost in these kind of games, but your next step is usually spelled out pretty clearly. This gives you a relatively stress-free experience, but the lackadaisical pacing does undercut the interest factor. It's a shame because the environments give you a great snapshot into a beautiful world. The lighting and clean-cut look of the architecture evokes memories of games like Mirror's Edge, where a shiny exterior is hiding a darker reality beneath the surface. If you can stomach the slow pace, adventure game fans should feel right at home here, especially if you like a good mystery. We'd need some snappier pacing and better characterization if we were going to recommend it to anybody else, though. This has been James with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.